The death of Glee's Corey Monteith, who struggled with heroin abuse since his teens, drew our attention to that killer drug. And what we found was scary and startling. The number of Americans using heroin has doubled over the last decade. ABC's Byron Pitch shows the problem has spread to some unlikely places. Living in a lonely world. Corey Monteith clean-cut star of the hit TV show Glee, shocked his fans earlier this month when he died from a heroin overdose. But he's now the new face of the next generation of heroin users, a growing group found mostly in, of all places, suburbia. Police Lieutenant Thomas Dombrowski drove us through Bergen County, New Jersey, where a recent spike in heroin deaths sparked concern. But every part of Bergen County is touched in, in some way, shape, or form uh, by the heroin epidemic. 28 overdoses here last year, most of the victims under the age of 22. And what parents may not know, the gateway drug could already be in their medicine cabinets. It was for 23-year-old Dylan Young. Started using prescription painkillers uh, that my father had, and it went from there. At 13, he was smoking pot and drinking, then stealing those pills from his parents, which led to smoking heroin. Heroin is much, much cheaper than prescription medication. Give me the ratio. Uh, a 30 milligram oxycodone pill, $30. An 80 milligram oxycontin, $80. A bag of heroin, $4. A lot of addicts are missing something, and they ended up filling that void with drugs. The hold it had on him was so strong, he ended up in rehab six times. When you're in that situation, you usually don't see hope or uh, a life ahead of you. You just see, you know, your next fix. Most agree intervention and treatment are key, but there is a bitter irony that goes with rehab. Just like Monteith, many heroin addicts die when they start using again right after leaving treatment. Most of the overdose deaths that we're getting um, are people that come back from rehab, they get high for that first time coming back from rehab, and, and that high is what kills them. Dylan has been clean now for three years. He knows heroin is a dark dead end. More and more young people enter and never leave. Byron Pitts, ABC News, New York.